Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the Synology NAS and it's running DSM7 beta and I will help you to create a user and a group and how you can put a user inside a group to improve your security and then I will show you to get a two uh, factor authentication on your user so you can setting up a more uh, security about your user that that's what we're going to speak about uh, for today i really hope you will want to enjoy and you will learn from me so thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe this uh, channel by clicking on thing in the right corner below on the video and if you have any questions please make a comments below i'll try to answer you and thank you for any like or share so what we're going to do now it's just going for the control panel and then for the user and group and inside here we have three tabs we have user group and advanced we will be on the user field and then just click create i will call it a test user here and only for test then we don't need any kind of email right now so the password should be test with big t and one two three four and the same here big t and then test one two three four it's, it's up to you you can decide whatever password you want then we click next and you can see we have the join group we can join everyone so it's a http and it's an administrator but we don't need it we don't use the we only use the, the default one then the next one we don't want the user have access for for the locks on the system then we say you can use unlimited gigabytes of, of locks of course and then we don't need to give any kind of uh, access here we don't need to give it async file station and ftp then we just say done this is a very basic and very simple way to create a user file the next we want to do it's going to click for the group and we need to create a group we will call it the test group only for test so we can delete it later we decide which user should be inside here we will say the test user only for test and we don't need any access for anything we don't need the the quote and we don't need any kind of application permissions and we don't need to make a group speed limit and then just click done if we're going back here just a little bit and then we're going back for for the user here and double click going for the user groups you can see now it's uh, in the test uh, test group and is inside the user group so right now everything is as it should be but probably we want the user have their own home folder something like when if you have working with linux before then when you're logged in you have your own home folder you can put stuff inside and, and do whatever you want as your user the other users can see you except if it's administrator and have the rights for that we can enable the same here in the in Synology NAS DSM 7 click on advanced and scrolling down down below we have the user home you can just say enable it and if you want you can say enable recycling bin I will recommend this because then if the user just drop the file we will keep it a little bit so that's a, a good thing depends on your your space and your disk in my case i have a lot of space so i don't care i will just use this click on apply and then we're just waiting until it's uh, it's dead because then we have on the file station yes if you click on the file station here now you can see we have home and homes home this is my folder for my user homes is for everyone for the admin my user and the test user and we still have the logs here and everything it's great now i think it's good you can see the other user doesn't have access to to the same as my administrator user have so that's going up for your user here and sign out i try again yes we are signing out here and then i say test user I'll type my password and then we're logged in it's the first time so we don't care and that's okay 
we just click on the file station and you can see it should only be the home folder and we are only hooked to home folder so that's fine we can create the folder and we can say test folder here and click ok and if I'm going out here again and I just sign out I can log in with my normal user and then if I'm going for the file station you'll see I can still see the homes I can just go inside to the test user because I'm an administrator so I can see everything but the test user can't see my folder so that's pretty cool so now the basic of the user and groups it's working and we have enabled the home folder the next step I will recommend you to enable is the security on uh, every single user so you know we have enabled the two-factor on every uh, single user. Go for the control panel. To this, we need a notification, and we need to set up an email, email notification. And I will just say this is my mail. So I will just say that's fine. I need to go in for the service provider. I just use a Gmail here and accept that. In this way, that's meaning we use my Gmail account to sending mails out. If you're in a company, you probably want to uh, use your custom SMTP server, but for testing now, this is great for me to do. Then I'm up and running and I can test everything is, is working. I will uh, enable welcome message for, for new users and I'll just apply. When it's applied, we need to go for the security here, the step, and going for the account, we need to enable the two-factor. You can uh, you can say that the only administrator group users that have this, or you can see all users and specific users or groups. I will strictly recommend all users because then you say all the users that want to be a part of your Synology environment the need to two-factor and the risk to be hacked and something like that it's uh, much more less so let's enable that and now I'm gonna sign out and then I should be locked in again and should say um, I need to fill out the two-factor yeah it should be else I forgot to click apply but I think it did that let's see yeah now the security request from the admin it's meaning I have setting the security request and because I'm not signing in with my uh, Synology login uh, I can use the verification code OGP else you can use the request signing in then meaning you don't need a password you need the device to accept that but this one is, is good uh, to begin then you click next and you need to have the Synology Secure sign-in installed on your Android or your iPhone. And then you click on Next. I already have this installed. Then we have the uh, barcode scanner we need to do. And I just click on my phone here and say New. And I hold it up. And then I want this one. And I think this is the right one. And see about this locked in. Just need to confirm the code for first time, and that should be okay. And then it's asking me for a backup email. Yeah, I will just say this is my backup email. That's fine. If something is going wrong, yeah, that that's cool. And then just click done, and now I can see everything here. It's it's normal. So if I'm basically just locked out again and locked in again and then I just open my phone and say 809 and then I can just go inside don't ask again for this device I will not recommend you to put this because if you uh, click this on it's a meaning you don't want to ask about the the two factor on that device again. Then you 
you basically open up for uh, security issues and I'm not recommend that. So that's how you can control the user and groups and how you can add the security layer on your users on Synology NAS DSM 7. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy and you stay for the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the thing below in the right corner. And if you have any questions, please make a comment below. I'll try to answer them. And thank you for likes and shares. See you. Bye.